Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Shapiro Feature Walkthroughs. I'm joined today by Bell, our Associate Product Manager. How are you today, Hello. Bell? Hello, I'm good. How are you, Dano? I'm good. Thanks for asking. So today, Val will walk us through the Shapiro user roles and permissions. Is that correct? That is correct. All awesome. right. So we're going to look at a very, very important feature, which is being able to create users, edit existing users, deactivate users that you no longer need, as well as assign those users to a role. And the role will have specific permissions. So depending on the role that user is assigned, will determine what parts of the application they can access. So while this is a simple feature, it is quite essential for pretty much any Shapiro um, user. So let's take right. a look first on how to access this page. So most people will start kind of in what we call app dot this page here where you know you have your orders. When you go to my account, you'll see an option for users. Also one for roles and permissions. If you click either of these, they'll forward you to the same user screen. Um, so you can just kind of select which one and it will forward you there. All right, and this is going to be your users enroll page. Uh, you'll see there's two tabs up here. One will be your users where you'll see all of your existing users, both active and inactive. On the top right, you'll see your total active users here. And then if you just go one tab over, you'll see all of your roles. If you selected the roles from under my account, it would just forward you straight to this page, but you would easily be able to go back and forth between the two. From the roles page, you'll see all of your existing roles, active, inactive ones, and you'll be able to create new roles and edit existing roles from here. One other thing to note is you can access these pages from this, um, we call it the shipping.shapiro page. If you go to the navigation bar, you will see there is a user enroll icon here. This is useful in case you accidentally click off of this page. You don't have to go all the way back. You can access this from this navigation bar as well. So let's take a look at what you can see and do from the user page. So as a manager in Shapiro, you're going to need to be able to edit uh, user user settings, create new users, assign roles to users. How Shapiro works is your user will have a role. The roles are assigned certain permissions. So the permissions from that user depends on their role. Um, multiple users can be assigned to a single role. For example, you can have a supervisor and have multiple users that are assigned the supervisor level. They will all have those same permissions. A user can also have multiple roles. That's okay, but a thing to sort of note about that is if one role has more permissions than the other, it will default to the one with more. For example, if you have a supervisor, they're allowed to access the order page, but a junior cannot. You've made them both a supervisor and a junior. Probably not the best example, but it could happen. They will be able to access it because they also have that other role. So just something to sort of keep in mind. And we'll take a look at this. From this page, just a quick overview, you're able to modify the columns that you view here, as well as from the filters. If you don't want to see the inactive users, you can filter them out. Another important function here is, okay, you said I can edit settings. How do I do that? Well, when you click on the bold part of the name, it won't work if you click on other sections, but if you click over the bold name, it will bring up these user settings. From here, you'll be able to modify different settings, allow warehouses, if you need to change their password, um, anything of that can be done here. You can also see what role they are assigned. You can remove them from that role as well as add them to a different role all from this page. Now you may be thinking, all right, cool, but can anyone do this? Because that's a lot. Like you're telling me anyone can go in here and change a password. Well, no, that's where the permissions come in. You will need user permissions to be able to do these functions. Um, we also have something called an admin, which gives you even more permissions. So 
admin, what you'll see here. So we like to call it like a super role. If someone has this admin toggle on, they have full permissions across the app. By default, your first user, the user that was signed up when your Shapiro account was created is your first admin, but an admin can create additional admins. The thing to note, anyone that's an admin has full privileges. A big thing with this role is this is the only one that can modify existing roles and create new roles. You must be an admin to do those tasks. Reason being is we don't want someone giving themselves more permissions when they shouldn't be able to do that. So that is the point of this admin. It is separate than any other role. Now you can create a new user, like a manager that is not an admin, can create a new user with just user permissions. But if they wanted to create a new role, you'd have to be an admin. We have um, some help docs going over this in a bit more detail, but I definitely wanted to point that out because they saw this toggle here and I was like, what is that? So this is your users page. From this page, you can also do some other functions um, such as clearing order locks. And then if you needed to make a user active or inactive, when you log in, you can click this toggle to activate it. Hit save. And then you'll see it is now active. And then my total user count up on top is increased. All right, so from here, I think it's best to kind of jump in. Let's create a user. Let's create a role and just see how that whole flow works. Sound, sound good, Nano? Sounds good, please. Awesome. So creating a user, very simple. You go to the top right hand here, click this button. Now you're going to be filling out some details. So, all right, Dana, you are our test here. I'm going to do, I think I'm up to a very high number now. <laughs> and then we'll get you a password. Hmm, that's a good super secret password that no one will ever guess. <laughs> All right. You can see I can activate it here. I can't make them an admin yet. If I wanted to make Dano an admin, we would have to do that later. I am currently an admin. I have those privileges, but that is something to note. If I was not an admin, I would not be able to make him an admin. Uh, the different settings you have, you can set default print stations, a default warehouse if your account has multiple warehouses. You're also able to limit view to certain allowed warehouses, either other settings. You don't need to set these if they don't apply to the specific user. You can simply hit continue. And then you'll have some more settings. Again, these may or may not apply to the specific user, but these are Things like tote QA, which requires additional scanning, um, just how things are going to display on this user specific mobile app. If you want voice picking, as you'll see when you select this, it gives you additional options to select the speed. Um, similarly, if you want some sort of sound feedback, which is on the mobile, this is where you would do that. And then you just hit continue. And now you have an option to assign a role. So you can assign this user to an existing role, but if it is a new position, maybe you forgot to make the role, that's fine. You can simply click here and create a role. Now this will look the same here as it will if we go to the other create a role page. So I'm gonna just show us how to create a role now, but it's the same on the other page. From here, you'll have an option to either have a completely blank set of permissions or you can choose an existing role and kind of use that as a template. I think this is very useful if you say have a role picker and maybe you want entry level pickers. So it's essentially the same, but you want to remove some permissions. This is a good way of doing that quickly. Um, but if it's That's something great. entirely new, you can keep it blank. Yeah. Um, in this case, I actually don't have the picker as a, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to do this, but let's make a picker roll. Dano, you're going to be a picker. Dano, Dano, you were recently picking at the warehouse, right? You yeah, having a lot of fun with that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so pickers generally don't have access to billing. They might need to see their bins. 
uh, different devices, locations. I'm actually giving you more privileges than I think a general picker would have, but it's okay. We trust you. I want to do this. Uh, product permissions, a thing to note about some of these permissions. Things like this, which involve inventory transferring, which is a mobile function, this permission applies across the platform. So if you're trying to change inventory on the desktop, these permissions apply. If you're doing a movement through the mobile app, like a picker would have access to, these permissions would apply. So it's a good thing to keep note when you're assigning these permissions. Um, you know, we trust you but you're not touching purchase orders. So we're gonna take those away. And you just go through your different settings and then you hit create role. Here's our new picker role and we will assign Dano to that one. And there you go. New user has been created, assigned to a picker. Uh, you may notice this notification up here, your plan has reached its user limit. This depends on your specific account. Um, if you need to add more users, you would simply click here and it will forward you to yet another page where you can adjust that. But this is a warning just to let you know you have maxed out your users. So 10, I guess, was my limit. Um, that's the process for creating a user and a role. If you just wanted to create a role, you can do so from here. When you hit create role, it brings you to a page that looks very similar to the one we were just looking at. The same idea, you can choose your template. As you can see, it filled in what we just created, and then you can make another role here. If you are an admin and you have the privileges to do so, from this page, you will be able to go into a role and modify it. If you were like, ah, oh, do you know what? Our pickers really do need to do I don't know, Billy. <laughs> you can go in <laughs> and hit save and add um, that permission. And then you can also see who is already assigned to this role, as well as add users from here as well. So you have options to do it from either page. And this is really an overview of the users and the roles. We do have a help doc. Um, help docs, knowledge base articles that have this in a bit more detail that will walk you through each of these steps. But we wanted to put something together to just give an overview of these pages. So hopefully this helps with that a bit. Yeah, absolutely. And it's super intuitive. Super yeah, easy. it's pretty straightforward. Exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Val. And if you'd like to check out other feature walkthroughs, click on the top right corner right now. And if you're ready to unlock your e-commerce fulfillment superpowers, visit shibiro.com to schedule a call with us. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.